Drug testing of employees is a standard procedure to maintain a safe and drug-free workplace. If you are a frequent cannabis user and have been recently asked for a pre-employment drug screening, you are probably curious to know how to pass a drug test for weed. So how long does THC stay in the system? Let's find out after the intro. How does your body process marijuana? Upon smoking marijuana, the smoke travels down your windpipe and into your lungs. It then passes through the bronchi and into the alveoli and eventually reaches the bloodstream. Most tissues and organs absorb THC after it enters the bloodstream, but fat cells and the brain absorb THC the most. It takes about 10 to 30 minutes before the effects kick in. On average, it lasts from 2 to 8 hours based on the amount of marijuana consumed. Within a few minutes of smoking weed, your heart begins beating faster and the results become noticeable as your eyes turn red, your speech slows down and your sense of balance gets thrown off a bit. Once THC enters the brain, it causes an euphoric sensation. THC triggers the brain's reward system which is responsible for dopamine release. Dopamine is a hormone that controls pleasure. It is often referred to as the feel-good hormone. Apart from triggering dopamine release, THC can also cause increased libido, hunger and anxiety. But the effects may be reversed or intensified when cannabis is mixed with other drugs. How long does THC stay in the system? The main chemical in marijuana is tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC. Although the effects of THC wear off within a few hours of ingesting marijuana, traces of the chemical can remain in the body for weeks. There is no definite answer because several factors determine how long THC can stay in the human body and how long it can be detected. Even though the effects of THC only last a few hours, traces of it can remain in the body for weeks or months. Depending on whether urine, blood or hair follicles are tested, you could fail a drug test between 30 to 90 days after using marijuana. THC can still be detected 90 days after marijuana use through hair tests, 3 days to a month in urine, 48 hours in saliva and 36 hours in blood. Unlike THC, hemp and other marijuana based products won't make you fail a drug test. What factors affect how long THC can be detected? Factors including the dosage, frequency of use, body fat percentage, as well as the individual's metabolism, sensitivity and genetics affect how long a test can detect traces of marijuana in your system. Exercise is one of the factors that can affect marijuana detection. Cannabinoids are fat soluble which means that people with a higher body fat content may metabolize THC slower. They bind to fat molecules in the body, which is why it takes a longer time for traces of metabolites to exit the body. According to a 2014 study on the release of fat stored cannabinoids caused by physical exercise or food deprivation, it was suggested that food deprivation, stress, exercise or weight loss could lead to burst of the release of stored cannabinoids from adipose tissue. It was concluded that exercise and fasting in regular cannabis users are unlikely to cause sufficient concentration changes to hamper with the results of a drug test. Another factor is dehydration. Although drinking lots of fluids before a test will not affect the results, dehydration might flip a switch. Although drinking water doesn't necessarily flush out THC, dehydration may slow down your metabolism and make you test positive for longer. Regardless, you should keep yourself hydrated. What are the types of drug tests? Drug tests have varying time frames in which they can detect marijuana. Standard tests can detect higher doses of THC, but some tests are sensitive to detect even the lowest concentrations. In any case, the individual's dosage intake will significantly affect how well the test will detect traces of the drug. Urine tests are the most common way to test for marijuana use and abuse because they are cheaper and easier to use than other options. It typically detects marijuana in the urine for approximately 3 to 30 days or longer after use, especially if you consume a lot. Blood tests can show THC metabolized in the blood and the actual amount of THC in the bloodstream. Weed becomes detectable in the blood within minutes after inhalation. Even if you have sobered up already, metabolites stay in the bloodstreams for days. Some studies show that it may be detectable for up to 25 days. A 2009 study published in the journal Addiction tested THC blood concentration levels in 25 frequent 
long-term cannabis users over seven days of abstinence. 16 users had at least one positive THC test during those seven days. Six users displayed positive THC levels on the final day of abstinence. Saliva tests are commonly conducted for roadside drug testing. Oral fluid tests offer a simple, non-invasive observed specimen collection, making alteration more difficult and eliminating the need for specialized collection facilities or same-sex collectors. However, saliva tests are only helpful for testing recent cannabis use. According to a 2013 article on the current knowledge on cannabinoids in oral fluid, specimens from occasional smokers tested negative for THC. Most samples from chronic frequent smokers were positive, confirming recent cannabis intake. Saliva tests can detect THC for around 12 hours after use for people who use cannabis infrequently. On the other hand, for people who frequently use cannabis, THC can be detected for around 30 hours. Hair test. In a 2015 report on hair analysis for cannabinoids, the results strongly suggest that THCA-8 is not incorporated into hair through the bloodstream or via sweat to a relevant extent. It was found that no relevant incorporation through the bloodstream into hair is expected to occur in cannabis users. NTHC detected in forensic hair samples does originate from external sources. However, in a more recent study published in Drug and Alcohol Review, researchers tested 105 hair samples and did not detect any THC in non-users. They only detected THC in the hair of 77% of heavy cannabis users and 39% of light users. How can you pass a drug test for weed? Drug screening agents are a popular way of evading a drug test. They are detoxification kits that help people pass urine tests which contain golden seal, vinegar, niacin, vitamin C or herbal tea. These kits supposedly speed up the metabolism of your body for quicker THC excretion. However, they do not eliminate metabolites out of the body. The estimated window for a drug test to detect marijuana heavily depends on the type of test. As mentioned before, each type of drug test has a different cannabinoid detection window. In most cases, a test doesn't mainly look for THC. Instead, it looks for a metabolite or compound that THC is broken down into. In conclusion, in hopes of getting a negative result on your upcoming drug test, be cautious of how much you should consume and when to stop consuming marijuana. For most marijuana consumers, traces should disappear or be very low in concentration within 30 days. Contrarily, for infrequent users, it may take up to 10 days or less for marijuana to leave the body. Anyhow, the only reliable way of passing a test is to stop smoking or ingesting marijuana for as long as possible before any drug test. Does your employer test you for THC? Let us know in the comments how long you stay abstinent prior to a test. If you would like to read the full article on this topic, you can head over to weed-smart.com. Are there any other cannabis related topics that you would like us to make a video about? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you enjoy factual and informative cannabis content? If so, consider subscribing to this channel so you can watch our upcoming videos and learn more about cannabis and CBD. If you want the YouTube algorithm to understand that you enjoyed watching this video, then leave a like and a comment. See you in the next video.